Growing up in Columbia, Mississippi, Walter Payton spent more time playing the drums than he did football. It wasn't until the 10th grade that Walter Payton followed his brother Eddie's footsteps in the backfield of Columbia High School. Walter followed Eddie again to Jackson State University and sees the spotlight chewing up yardage and records while playing every position. And despite scoring a collegiate record 66 touchdowns and a combined 464 points, Peyton struggled for national recognition, finishing 14th in the Heisman voting in 1974, his senior year. Chicago Bears saw his potential, drafting Peyton fourth overall in the 1975 NFL Draft. Known for his grueling fitness regimen, Peyton quickly became one of the bright spots in the dismal Bears team that didn't win a single playoff game in his first nine seasons. Walter Peyton has just become the first man in the history of the National Football League to rush for 100 yards in eight straight games. While Sweetness danced and stiffed on his way to 6,000 yard seasons in his first six years, the team was only 46 and 46 during that time. In 1985, the 15-1 Bears steamrolled opponents on their way to Super Bowl XX. Walter Payton earned a Super Bowl ring and played for two more seasons. Walter Payton on a 40-yard touchdown gallop. When he retired at 33, Walter Payton owned eight NFL records and was voted to the Pro Bowl nine times and inducted in both the College and Pro Football Hall of Fame. The thing that I saw in Walter was his determination, his second and third effort. One man wouldn't, couldn't bring him down. All the yardage, the years in the league, 13 years, uh, very seldom injured. It shows that he was an outstanding football player. In retirement, Peyton embarked on new careers that included a construction company, a kart racing team, and many thought that Peyton might be the NFL's first black owner. But on February 2nd, 1999, Peyton revealed that he was suffering from a rare and life-threatening liver disease. The once indestructible running back needed a transplant to survive. Ladies and gentlemen, Kevin Eugene. When the MEAC SWAC Challenge looked for a role model after whom its players would model themselves after, Walter Payton's name was at the top of the list. And in 2008, the Walter Payton Achievement Award was created. I knew Walter Payton. To me, he was more than the high-stepping, indestructible running back, more than sweetness. He was my hero. He was my best friend. He was my dad.